everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Lisa if you're new around here and today's video is going to be a what's new in Poundland for 2023 and a little haul so I'm going to show you around the store just to show you a few new bits that I saw when I was in store today and also the haul at the end is going to be a really good one I've got so many good bits today I'm really excited about this haul usually it's like oh I got this bit of like cleaning stuff usually it's just like cleaning products and things like that but today we've got a real good mix of things and I think you're really going to enjoy this video so I hope you're all doing well happy new I hope you're all doing well and I hope you had a lovely Christmas sorry I didn't get to say happy Christmas to you before I went on my last video it kind of was an unexpected last video and I didn't really film anything after that before Christmas so I didn't get time to say happy Christmas to you so I hope you had a lovely Christmas whatever you're up to and this is going to be my last video of 2022 I think and then we'll be into 2023 which I can't believe it so happy new year to you as well um but yeah if you want to see what's new in Poundland then just keep watching I'm going to share with you a few clips that I just filmed on my phone when I was in store today and then I'll be back with the haul let's get into the haul then I'm going to show you what I got first of all I'm going to start with wrapping paper because they had so many wrapping paper rolls in there and these were all reduced to 25p 25p I just couldn't resist it I know the quality is probably not going to be amazing but they are four meters long I went for two of these brown paper ones which have like a kind of Christmas message on them I'm not really sure what they say right now but I got two of those I then got two of these which I thought would be great all year round because they're just I think it's either black or navy with some gold stars on there so I thought that would be great all year round I could just use it for birthday presents and also of course Christmas when it comes to it next year I also got this stripy paper so it's like gold and white or golden cream for 25p each I don't think you can really go wrong and then I've got a couple of different I just went for silver, which again, I thought you could use all year round. We've always got birthday presents to wrap up, so it's always good to have like a good stock of wrapping paper. And I got some blue wrapping paper as well, which again, I think you could use all year round. Those were such a bargain. And then let's go into this big bag. So I had to buy some bags when I was there. So I got this bag, a football one, which is just a classic, isn't it? What's it say? Each sleep football repeat, which is very apt for my boys. I got, cause obviously we've got New Year's Eve coming up, which will be, Will it be what day is it on oh, it's gonna be new year's day oh i can't believe it. right so it's actually new year's day the day that you're gonna be watching this so happy new year happy new year to you um so i got these for new year's eve so i've got these little just plastic uh what are these called champagne flutes so i went for these because i wanted to make the boys some like fun drinks for new year's eve because we always have house party disco thing on new year's eve and the boys absolutely love it so i thought i'd make it a little bit more special for them and get these little glasses and make them some cool drinks for new year's eve and whilst i was in that section i picked up some cocktail party umbrellas which i thought would be really fun to add to their drinks. I did get some cotton wool pads because I've run out of cotton wool pads and they're always useful to have. I do have some reusable ones that I've got around the house but quite often if they're in the wash I need something else I've got these as a backup. So I got some cotton wool pads. They're also good for the kids and also for the cat's eyes when I need to clean the cat's eyes if they get a little bit dirty. So I got those and I got myself a new water bottle. 
New year, new me and all of that jazz. I mean, I'm not doing that this year, but I would like to drink more. I was doing so well last year, like probably for a good six to eight months, I would say. I was drinking water really, really well. And then when it got to this kind of Christmas time, I stopped drinking water and I was just drinking like teas and coffees. And I really noticed it in, in the way I feel, how I don't feel good anymore. So I'm definitely gonna be drinking more water. I have got water bottles, but I thought I would just get another one. So this one just says, drink water, stay healthy. And it's got the little times on here that you should drink, but I don't really kind of tend to do that. I just drink it as and when. So I got that. I also got for Orlando mainly some strawberry yogurt flakes. These are always really good and he loves them. So I got those. I also got him some Kellogg's fruit winders. These are also really good for like their lunch boxes and things like that. And I got some skinny whip bars. These are my favorite flavors. I say this every time, but I went for strawberry and I went for the toffee ones as well. I've got a couple of those. They've got so many different flavors of Skinny Whips now, haven't they? The next bag is my favorite bag of stuff, but let's just get through these first. So again, we got some lemonade. I thought that would be good to add to their drink. So they've got like a, something a little bit fizzy to have uh, for New Year's Eve. And then I got some Tango Berry Peachy. Never tried that, sugar-free, but it looked fun. I liked the color of it. So I got that for the kids as well. Someone snuck these in, some Haribo Star Mix. Like we haven't got enough sweets and chocolate in the house already because of Christmas. Honestly, there's so much in this house that, um, yeah, we need to get through, but kind of not, because otherwise everyone would be so hyper if we eat it all in one day. Mark picked up some baguettes. So these twin baguettes, I always used to love these. Like back in the day, I'd have these with like chicken fillets in them or have them with um, bacon and eggs. Oh my God, so good. So yeah, I've got two twin baguettes there. And then I grabbed these. So Digital Kitchen Scales, the Nifty Kitchen stuff. This is the brand, I think. But these are always really useful when, especially if you need to weigh out your food or if you're doing baking or anything like that. So some Digital Kitchen Scales. I thought were great. I think they were around £2.50, something like that. Really inexpensive, um, but very useful as well. I need to go through all of my kitchen cupboards and organise them. They are a mess, like really big mess. But anyway, let's not think about that right now. We're going to be taking our Christmas decorations down soon. So I wanted to be a little bit more organised. And something that I said last year that I wish I had was some bubble wrap. So when I saw this in Poundland, I was like, yes, I need to pick that up because we've got quite a lot of ornaments and things like that. And I tend to just put them all in a box, just gently stacked on top of each other. But of course, when you're taking things up and down from the loft, things do break. And I just thought I'd be a little bit more careful this year. I'm trying to sort through my Christmas decorations and I wanna be a little bit more organized this year. So I've got some bubble wrap so I can wrap any delicate decor items and they're not gonna get smashed next year. So that would be something that I'd like to avoid, hopefully. I also got these glasses. How amazing are these? These are like double wall glasses. I'm not sure if they're plastic or glass. I'm not really sure. They're quite lightweight. Um, and it says suitable for the dishwasher as well, which is amazing. Really happy with that. So I just got two of those. I need to go through all of my mugs and sort them out. But I just thought these are really nice. You know, when you have people come around, maybe I need to like get rid of all my other mugs I've got. You know, when you just have so many just random mugs. My, my cupboards are full of just random mugs, random plates, like nothing really matches, which is fine. But I would like it to be a little bit more organized because I always just buy like the odd thing here and there. And then I keep adding to the cupboard and then it's just like so full, can't find anything. But I just feel like maybe I should get a couple more of these. These are £2.50 and I just really like them. I thought they were so nice. And with like a cup of coffee in there, I just thought that would look gorgeous. So I'm really pleased with those. I've not seen them in there before. Let me know if you've seen these in Poundland before. But I loved those. I thought those were amazing. Okay, now let's get into the storage section. Right, did you see? They had that whole storage section for Christmas decorations, which I just thought was so good. The other day when I was in Bristol, I thought, oh, I must go on Amazon and order some bauble storage and this, that, the other. And I thought, oh, I'll do that later. And I kept forgetting. But anyway, let me just check how much that would have been on Amazon. Bauble storage. Okay, so a bauble storage like cube on Amazon was, well, $13.99 for one of them. And another one was like $35.99, right? And I got these for £2.50. £2.50. I know they're not going to be like the most um, 
what's the word they're probably going to be a little bit flimsy if you know what i mean but i mean these hold 64 baubles which i think is amazing so we could use these maybe for our christmas tree and then another one for like the boys christmas tree i don't know how how many baubles i have on my tree but i bought two of these anyway and i thought for two pounds fifty you cannot go wrong so so i'm really really pleased with that they are what's they're about like 30 centimeters like width height and all of that kind of stuff and these are by pep and co home which they've got of course in poundland so i've got two of those amazing really pleased with that and then i got a christmas tree storage bag we have got a couple of christmas tree storage bags but i just find them useful for like bigger decorations we've got quite a lot of garlands and things like that so i thought this would be quite good for the garlands grabbed um i think one of those did i or two no i did just get one of those so this is for a six foot christmas tree and again for two pound fifty i don't think you can go wrong for that i think it's really good it's kind of like um not felt fabric i can't really explain the fabric um what does it say on here non-woven christmas tree storage bag that's going to be great isn't it i'm really happy with that i just want to be organized this year i'm really trying to be more organized with the christmas decorations because we've got so many we're now at that stage where we just don't know what's what and where everything is and we don't want another situation like the missing garland next year we don't want that to happen again do we so we're going to be extra organized this year and we're going to label things and all of that kind of stuff so i also got the wreath storage bag which i could put a couple of my wreaths in i've got a few different wreaths at, um around the house so i can just put them all in there and i'm going to know where the wreaths are so i'm very happy with that and then this guys is my absolute favorite when i saw these these are the first thing i saw actually i was like oh my god now there are so many ways to store your fairy lights we always use like um an old tin foil box or an old tin foil you know the tube from tin foil or wrapping paper tube something like that which is great it's worked for us for many years but now we have these string light storage reel and it's just gonna go on there like that it's like a little oh that is just so useful these are two pound fifty i bought four of them because we've got a lot of lights i mean i could probably put maybe two sets on here but i just wanted to give them a little whirl so we've got four of these oh i'm so pleased with that like this is like storage goals for christmas these are going to be so so useful i cannot wait to use it. those are all of the storage bits i got which i think is really good let me know what you're thinking so far i also got this the store fresh container comes with a little spoon which i just thought was really good for when i do my overnight oats or overnight wheat bix i think that is so nice it's just going to be ready for me there in the morning and i can just eat perfect if you're eating on the go as well i think this was like one pound something like that one pound one pound fifty they also had them in yellow i've seen them in other colors in the past as well but that's great and it comes with the lid as well so perfect for travel like i said i then got an air wick um, refill in lavender i've not tried this one before or purple lavender meadow these are just really useful to have around the house we've bought one of those like machines the air wick machine so it just like sprays it every what is it every like half an hour or something like that this will last up to 70 days so i got that freshmatic but the final bits that i got were for our bath so our bath is like a stone bath you can only use soapy water to clean it so instead of using i can't use any kind of like bathroom sprays or anything like that so if you've got a stone bath actually let me know what you use to clean your bath because i'm too scared to use anything other than soapy water because i don't want it to kind of chip away or i don't know i just don't want to ruin it so basically I've gone with fairy liquid so I've got one of these to put upstairs in my bathroom but I did also see that they do a fairy liquid spray now I'm hoping that this is basically the same formula just watered down I've, I'm thinking it will be and if that's the case then this will be just much easier to spray it into the bath and then wipe it all down and give it a good clean so I did get the fairy liquid spray and it does say on here not suitable for non-washable surfaces untreated or oiled wood which is fine avoid use on aluminium copper brass painted surfaces and if in doubt test on a hidden area and keep the bottle upright so we shall see i bought these for the bathroom because well soapy water it is for the bath and all of that kind of stuff so that is everything that i got from poundland let me know what you think of this haul i think it's a pretty good haul actually for me i think there's quite a few good bits in there but yeah thank you so so much for watching guys don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already there's going to be lots more poundland hauls hauls organization 
interiors, fashion, beauty, a mix of everything over on this channel in 2023. So let me know if there's anything you'd like to see more of in 2023. And if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe. If you are not new around here, thank you so much for sticking with me. And I will see you all in my next video. Happy New Year, guys. I'll see you all soon. Bye. Across the room When our eyes met I never knew